Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I am going to be doing is I'm going to talk to you about basic HTML. In this video I'm going to be going over what HTML is, how the HTML tags work, and some other things. So, basically HTML stands for Hyper Text Markup Language, and HTML, like it says, is a markup language, and a markup language is something that uses markup tags, which is things such as you're going to see later in the video, forward slash, I mean, in brackets, you're going to see paragraph, your paragraph content, and then the end of the tag, just like that. That is an example of a tag. Um, the tags describe the document content. HTML documents contain HTML tags and plain text. HTML documents are also called web pages. So any web page you view is either an HTML document or it contains HTML language or some sort of HTML language. No matter what you're viewing, unless if it's a um, JavaScript website or a Flash website, and even those websites have some HTML content in them. So getting into HTML tags, I'm just going to open up Notepad so I can give you better examples. HTML tags or keywords are surrounded by angle brackets, which are these things right here. Now, for example, if I do forward slash, I mean bracket HTML, that is a tag. Now, any content in that is open content, and to end the tag, you're going to want to do bracket forward slash HTML, or whatever your tag is, and bracket again. And and everything in this tag is the content of that tag. So this is the closing tag and this is the opening tags. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you setting up a basic HTML document. So to set up a basic HTML document what you're first going to want to do set up your document type. So we're going to just set the doc type just like this type as HTML and in that. Now that is not a regular tag. Some, some tags you do need in brackets. Most tags you're going to need a end bracket. But other ones such as images will not need end brackets. So you're going to want to do that and then set it as HTML. So anything within these two tags is going to be the HTML content. And then we're going to have the heading content. So this will not be displayed on the web page and then head and then we're going to have the body content which will be displayed to the people body and we're going to want to end that just like this so the head is used for titles so I can do that so if I added a title and I made it test HTML web page just like this and then ended the title that is what will display right here so as you can see tech cut the title is tech cut bucket minecraft etc so that is the title of the web page now that will go in the head other things that can go into the head is things like um, analytics codes or other types of codes to make your website work better but will not be displayed to the public's eyes so then we have body but before we get into body I'm going to show you how to save the HTML document to do this you're going to want to go to file save as and then you're going to want to save it as whatever you want usually the main index web page is called index I'm going to do that for this tutorial and you're going to want to call index.html and then change it to all files and then you're going to want to save it to wherever you find suit and I saved it to my desktop now if I open this you're gonna see test HTML web page and blank content now if I were am to type something in here file save and reload this you're gonna see the content right there but that's just boring you don't want a plain text website with just text filling up the whole thing you want to format it and make it look at least slightly presentable. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add headings, paragraphs, images, and links. And those are the four things I'm going to be going over in this video. The first thing is headings. So if I do H1, H1 is the biggest heading you could do. 
So I'm going to call this HTML test heading. And then I'm going to in that just like this and save it. So I'm going to do control S, reload this, and you can see HTML test heading. Now there are all kinds of different sizes. There's I think up to five or six, so I'm just going to pop a few in here. And I'm going to change these numbers to two, three, and four. I'm going to do the same thing right here, two, three, and four. And I'm going to add the numbers inside of the tag so you can see exactly what they are. One, two, four, whoops, three go back down and then if I file save reload you can see the different types of HTML headings there and now what we're gonna do is paragraphs now paragraphs is what chunks a section of text together so if you ever want to type text I recommend putting it inside of a paragraph tag and then typing your text like so and I'm going to copy and paste that a few times, just like this. And then I'm going to end it with the closing tag. And then I am going to control S to save it. Go here. And as you can see, it puts it in a paragraph like formation. And if I'm to type text elsewhere, save, it should not be connected to that text. And if I am to do something like this, P, I make a new paragraph, close it, file, save. It should still be dislinked from the text that's out of a tag. So that is how you do paragraphs. I recommend using that for if you're typing texts. And for new paragraphs, just put it in a new paragraph tag. Now what we're going to be going over is links. So to add a link you're just going to want to type in a h ref which will reference a location equals to a website. So I'm just going to do http dot dot forward slash forward slash um, youtube dot com forward slash tech hut us. And then I'm going to in that just like that and then this is where your text will go for the link so um, I'm going to type in tech hut us YouTube just like that and then I'm going to want to end the link like that so if I file and save that go into here you should see tech hut, tech hut us YouTube if you click on that it should take it take you right to my YouTube now one thing you could do is you can add this within a paragraph so if I add a paragraph and I type in please visit Tech Hut US YouTube for more awesome videos and then I end the paragraph like that I go to file save please visit Tech Hut US YouTube for more awesome videos. Click on that and it'll take you to the YouTube. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add an image. So this, just like um, just like links, you're going to want to reference a location. So you're going to want to type in IMG source, SRC stands for source. So the source of the image is going to equal something and then you're going to want to end it just like this. If I do that file save, it's not going to be able to locate the source because something isn't a real source. So what we're going to do is we're going to look up cats. And then we're going to go to images and search tools, any size. We're going to want to get a medium sized image. It's a good one. Do, 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 do. Let's use this cat. This cat is interesting. We're going to want to get the location of this image and use that as the source. File, save, go to our H test HTML web page, 
click enter and as you can see that image is placed right there so that is all I'm going to show you in the video what we've been over is what HTML is we've been over headers paragraphs links and images as well as setting up and saving your base HTML document I will be giving you more HTML tutorials soon please comment rate and subscribe have a fantastic day and goodbye